box. I've got some Super Tiger engines uh, on the table here. Um, got an S25 early production bolt-on muffler, a Como 51, which was made by Super Tiger in Italy, used the bolt through. And then this is a, a GS45. Now this is, I think this is a more modern GS45, maybe made in the uh, early 90s, before production was sent to China. Um, the S-series engines, you can tell, they've got the bar stock heads. Um, later production, they went to cast heads on pretty much all of their engines. So, um, so <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video and posting it is uh, typical ABC construction um, brass liner with chrome plating and then with an aluminum piston um, most ABC engines in fact all the en ABC engines that I've had in my hands whether it be Super Tiger or anything else for that matter um, they don't plate the outside of the the liner it's brass in the outside and it's chrome only on the inside um, chrome is expensive there's only a certain parts of the world that allow it still due to the toxicity and, and the pollution that that comes from it um, I know it's it's uh, <laughs> not environmentally friendly um, but anyway uh, Como 51 you can see the brass the 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 GS 45 here you can see brass on the outside it's s25 I got this off eBay it's new it's not been run um, <clears throat> has got plating on the outside of the cylinder obviously that does not look like brass um, I asked uh, I asked around on RC groups to see if anybody there may have some information or know anything about them and I did not uh, I did not get any good information at least not any information that that helped um, figure it out as to why this liner is plated on the outside um, that is very typical plating in the outside of the liner is typical of ABN engines or nickel plated liners um, where they still use brass but uh, nickel has to be plated completely around um, otherwise it can sometimes peel um, so did my question is did super tiger run some of their engines plate the outside of the liner and why if they did um, I don't believe that this is a Frankenstein engine it did not appear to be disassembled prior to me owning it um, none of the screw heads had any evidence of being taken apart so I do believe this is a factory original part um, the cylinder head on this, obviously you can see the real wide head shim on it. The uh, Como 51's got a real narrow head shim that matches the width of the liner. And then the GS45 you can see has got a real narrow head shim as well that matches the outside of the liner. So um, I, this is this, this S25, it's a beautiful engine, it's uh, um, well made as all Super Tiger engines are that I believe anyway um, but the, the liners got me a little bit uh, befuddled if you will so if anybody has any information about these uh, these engines there isn't I haven't seen anything published online or very little about them um, so if anybody has any documentation or any information about them I am all ears I'd love you to leave a comment and uh, maybe we can uh, I can get in touch with you and um, we exchange via email some any information you might have um, I'll be running the uh, S25 and the Como 51 on the test bench this spring. Um, the 25 I plan on putting a tune pipe on and I'm going to put it on an airboat. And uh, the 51 here, um, I don't have any immediate plans for it, but uh, I do plan on getting this engine in the air. It's kind of a rare, rare on the rarer side of engines, they, most of the 51s that I've come across have all been ringed. I know all the G51s are ringed. Um, so look forward to running this bad boy that's it for now until the spring when all the snow melts and it gets above zero um that's it for now